America's freight rail system is by far and away the best, most productive in the world. But 35 years ago, it was crumbling, with many railroads rolling towards bankruptcy because of excessive regulation. In 1980, landmark legislation lifted rules that were strangling railroads. The removal of these regulations allowed railroads to direct traffic into more efficient routes that minimized the transfer of freight cars from one railroad to another, improving service and reducing prices for all rail customers. Today, railroads voluntarily negotiate the practice of reciprocal switching, in which one railroad will serve a customer on behalf of another railroad. For a fee, Railroad 1 contracts with Railroad 2 to allow a customer served only by Railroad 1 access to the network of Railroad 2. Under current law, if freight cannot get from the origin to final destination using just one railroad, railroads must enter into arrangements to move the freight. But even a basic switch, moving a single car onto one train, requires six steps. Step 1. Yard switch to move empty car to Step train two, serving train customer. serving customer moves Step empty three, car to delivery customer. of empty car Step to customer four, for loading. Railroad retrieves Step five, loaded car train from moves Step six, loaded car switch of loaded car to outbound road train. However, when two railroads are involved in a reciprocal switch, a minimum of 10 and up to 24 steps are required. If you think this process sounds complex, that's because it is which is why railroads limit this practice to locations where they have facilities to accommodate this complexity. But today, a small group of mostly Fortune 500 companies wants the government to force this practice to happen across the rail network. Their objective is to lower the price they pay for freight rail service under the pretense of competition. This proposal amounts to nothing more than government-mandated forced access. Watch what happens when forced access creates multiple switches. Step one, yard switch to move step empty two, car to step three, three, empty interchange car. Step switch four, to spot empty Six car. steps, cascade into 24. Step 19, interchange step switch to step way train, train, way train, train move Step 24, car. yard switch to move loaded car into outbound road train. And as forced access spreads, rail shipments will slow across the network, impacting rail shippers from coast to coast and throughout the global economy. What will forced access mean? Increased equipment shortages, fuel use, network congestion, delays, and risk of employee injury. Up to 7.5 million carloads of traffic could be affected each year, resulting in 7.9 billion in network investment capital lost annually, and degraded service even for shippers not utilizing government-mandated forced access. Let's not repeat the mistakes of the past. Balanced regulation and market forces will ensure America's freight railroads keep delivering productivity gains, the lowest rates in the world, improved service, and a transport system that's unrivaled in the world. To learn more about mandatory forced access, please go to aar.org forward slash forced access.